Um, I first was introduced, well, was introduced to encountered cancer when my sister died Christmas Day 2009. Following her death, I became paranoid and eventually I convinced the doctor there was something wrong with me. And in 2011, I was diagnosed with bowel cancer. Lucky enough, touch wood, I'm in remission, so everything is hunky-dory. Later on, I received an invite from Macmillan to a cancer survivorship group seminar to be held at Doncaster Racecourse. I didn't particularly want to go, but I went, and basically the outcome it was that from that initial group of oh, about 100 or so people, they actually then formed the Cancer Survivorship Strategic Group in Doncaster. Oh. I'm very sorry, everyone. <laughs> right. And I was invited and accepted to become one of the founder members of the Doncaster Strategic Cancer Survivors Group in Doncaster. And there was me, several other cancer survivors, carers, clinicians, service users, and the idea was that we sort of talked it around, we came up with different ideas and how we could improve survivorship of cancer patients in Doncaster. One of the outcomes was that we decided that we had to make people aware that people, if they can get diagnosed early, like me, they can be treated early. Because I've always felt guilty that I hear all these stories about people that's got cancer with chemotherapy, radiotherapy. I had an operation. I went to the hospital on Tuesday. I was home on Thursday. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, if everybody's cancer pathway can be this good, or this easy, why can't we perform it for everybody? So to that aim, I was asked to go along to several groups to explain my path, what happened to me, and how I'd been diagnosed early. And one of the places I went was to the, the pharmacist's monthly or bi-monthly meeting, and I went along with the clinicians. And funny enough, one of the clinicians was my cancer nurse. And there was an oncologist and me and them to explain how, to, how it should be found early. Uh, and in November last year, Doncaster NHS Trust, along with Macmillan, decided that November was going to be Bowel Cancer Awareness Week, sorry, Bowel Cancer Awareness Month for South Yorkshire. And to this aim, I was, <laughs> a bit embarrassing, I was filmed by somebody from the Doncaster PCC, is it PCC? Anyway, um, to film my story. Uh, he came into my house and for about half an hour he filmed me and he, he edited it into a five minute film. Apparently this film is quite good. <laughs> the only person that's not seen it is me. <laughs> Apparently it, it is available on the Macmillan Cancer Services <laughs> website. Because what, what it was embarrassing, he came and then said, what do you do? I said, well, apart from I play golf. Oh, so he took, right, we'll go on the golf course. And if, uh, as well as film, filming me being interviewed in my own home, he filmed me playing golf. Well, I didn't want to watch my swing on, <laughs> on television. But it's, it's there for all budding 24 handicappers to have a look at. Another development of the November bowel cancer awareness was that, along with Doncaster Rovers and Sheffield United, the Doncaster Rovers Sheffield United game was designated a bowel cancer awareness game. And I was told that my story would be shown on the big screen at half time. So the first thing I did at half time was disappear. <laughs> but they, they didn't. All they did was because nobody wants to listen to a five or ten minute talk at half time. They want to get the pies and, and pints. But it was there along with the. Uh, the doc, Dr. Ian Carpenter was also interviewed. And the idea was, and the Macmillan people were, were there giving out leaflets to, to older men to encourage them, encourage them 
because if they could be caught early, like me, it saves all the anguish that I didn't go through. And I think it was quite successful, apart from the result, we got beat. <laughs> Having said that, in Sheffield, it might be a good thing. <laughs> after, after that, I decided that I, I, I enjoyed sort of being notifying people. So I also then, I volunteered to work with uh, New Horizons from Macmillan Doncaster to, to share my experiences. And one of the results of that is that I'm now hoping to one of the founder members of the Cancer Survivors in Doncaster. With the help of New Horizons, it's, it'll just be Cancer Survivors and we'll also have a voice on the Cancer Board in Doncaster so we can give the patients view. I think that's our bit. <laughs>